Hey everybody, this is Edward Underhill and I'm here with a predictions video for you guys for All Out 2021. Um, looking at this card on paper, I think it has the potential to be a pretty good pay-per-view. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. Uh, starting off, we have a 10-man tag team match, The Best Friends and Jurassic Express versus The Hardy Family Office and TH2. Um, for this, I'm going to go with The Best Friends and Jurassic Express to win this. Next we have the Women's Casino Battle Royal, where the winner will get a Women's World Championship match down the line. Uh, looking at the field for this, I'm going to go with either Thunder Rosa or Hikaru Shida or a surprise entrant. Next we have um, John Moxley versus Satoshi Kojima. I'm going to go with Moxley and then I can see him maybe going after the TNT Championship depending on who wins that match, which we'll get to later. Then we have Paul White versus QT Marshall. Um, I'm going to go with Paul White on this. I'm not the hugest QT Marshall fan, but the big question I have going into this is what is Paul's mobility going to be like? Because I know a few years ago he had a hip replacement surgery that he had to get redone. Um, so I'm hoping he'll be in pretty good shape for this match, but we'll see what happens. Next we have Dr. Britt Baker versus Chris Statlander for the Women's Championship. I want Chris Statlander to win, but I'm going with Britt Baker because, you know, she won the belt at double or nothing. I don't see her holding the title for a short period of time, but I do think she'll probably drop it in early 2022 to Thunder Rosa or someone else. Next up, we have the TNT Championship match, Miro versus Eddie Kingston. I'm going with Eddie Kingston to win this, and I do want to say really quick, I'm not a fan of the AEW uh, TNT title with the green highlights and the white strap. The belt with the red highlights and the black strap I thought was better, um, but it is what it is. Next up we have the steel cage match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships, the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Bros. Now I did go back and re-watch, or watch all the way through, the Esclera de la Muerte, the latter match from the first all up with these four guys, and that match was tremendous. Whether or not this will top it or not, I don't know. I suspect it might, but I'm going with the Lucha Bros to win the tag team titles. Next up, we have the final fight MJF versus Chris Jericho. If Chris Jericho loses, he will never wrestle in AEW again. I'm going with MJF for two reasons. One is because uh, Jericho is going on Fozzie, on tour with Fozzie pretty soon, but also I do get the sneaking suspicion that his career is starting to wind down. So I'm going with MJF, and then what I would do is build MJF for a good six to eight months and then have him win the world title down the line in early 2022, which I will get to a little bit later. Next we have the big return of CM Punk versus Darby Allen. The big question I have going into this, and I would imagine a lot of other people do too, what does CM Punk have left in his gas tank after being away for seven years? I would imagine he's been training pretty hard for, for this match, but I do think Darby's the right guy to put him in there with for his first match, because Darby can go and he can take care of him. So, as for who's gonna win this, it's a no-brainer. I'm going with CM Punk, but I do think this will be a great match. And then last but not least, we have the AEW World Championship match. Kenny Omega versus Christian Cage. Now, with this match, you could go either way with it. I want to see Christian Cage win and get a good six to eight month run as champion, but I'm going with Kenny Omega because I do think he's going to top uh, John Moxley's record for the longest run as world champion, and I do think Cody Rhodes is going to show up at the end of this match and turn heel. And that's going to play a big effect into the product going forward. If Christian Cage does win, I see him dropping it to MJF at Revolution 2022, possibly double or nothing 22, depending on what they want to do. And then after that, if MJF wins the belt from Christian Cage... Have MJF hold the belt for a year, year and a half, and then face CM Punk. So those are my predictions for Double or, or AEW All Out 2021, guys. 
Leave your thoughts and comments below on what you think is going to happen. And I will see you guys on Sunday night or Monday morning with the review. And until then, stay safe and have a good day.